Assalamu alaikum dear students hope you will be fine at home i am your dear teacher inam misar from shaw model school this is our new geo book 5 and inshallah we will learn much more information in this book okay now you can see here our geo planning of midterm 2020 According to our syllabus our first topic is introduction of world map oceans plus continent okay boys it is very much important before going to start our topic first we will revise the definition of geography which we have done in class 4 and we we are going to recall again here geo means earth and the graphy means study Geography is the scientific study of the physical and the political features of the earth. Now the physical features give us the knowledge about the division of earth, deserts, forest, rivers, mountain, ocean, island, etc. on the earth. Whereas the political feature give us in detail about the various countries or you can say the cities population language their religion culture etc so after this we are going to move our topic all of you know that a world is basically made up of so many things but the two main things are land and water Almost 70% of our earth surface is covered with water which you can see on the screen. The blue area show us the water area of the earth and the colored area the rest of the 30% is the dry land. Now the 70% of the water area is divided into five major parts and we call them oceans. Now let's see the oceans and the continents one by one on the map first of all you can see here the pacific ocean which is the world largest ocean and you can see on the world map on both side means on the east side as well as on the west side the second largest ocean of the world is atlantic ocean you can see here the atlantic ocean is the world second largest ocean after this the third one is indian ocean which is below the asia the fourth largest ocean is southern ocean which is above the antarctica and also you can say it is located in near to south pole Now the last and the fifth largest ocean of the earth is Arctic Ocean which is near to North Pole. After the location of the continents now let's see the location of the continents one by one. Number 1 is continent Asia. You can see here. Asia is the world largest continent by area as well as by population it's cover almost the 30% of the land mass asia is surrounded by three oceans in the north arctic ocean in the east pacific ocean and in the south there is indian ocean The second most populous and the largest continent is continent Africa which you can see here this is continent Africa and it is located on the equator you know what is equator equator is the central line we divide earth into two parts Africa is surrounded by two oceans. In the right side there is Indian Ocean and on the left side you can see Atlantic Ocean. 
the third largest continent is north america north america is the third largest continent on the earth and by population wise it take the fourth position it is surrounded by three oceans in the north arctic ocean and here you can see atlantic ocean and on the west side you can see pacific ocean this is south america it is the fourth largest continent in the term of area and it is also the fifth most populous continent it is bordered on the west by the pacific ocean and on the right side you can see atlantic ocean antarctica it is the fifth largest continent in area wise and about 90% of antarctica is covered by ice it is considered the world coldest driest and the windiest continent on the earth now after this we will come to the sixth largest continent on the earth is europe you can see here this is continent europe which is area wise on sixth position but if we talk about the population it takes the third highest population and one more important thing is that the world largest country russia and the world smallest country vatican city is located in this continent now come to continent australia which you can see here it is the seventh largest continent on the earth the major island is australia and the rest of island the new zealand and the others are also located here australia is also known as oceania it has the less population as compared to the rest of the continents it was all about ocean and continent students hopefully you can understand the location of ocean and continents now do practice at home it was our first lesson inshallah see you soon with new topic allah hafiz